nothing really grows in uh, marsh marshland 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 like very soft uh, ground because uh, well nothing tall at least will grow because like a tree like a strong tree with a big thick trunk and strong roots because the roots cannot grab onto the soil because the soil is too soft right and you know that technique like every time you want to pull some weeds out the best time to pull it out is after rain because the roots are loose correct so uh, I didn't know this <laughs> and the river even the the creeks in the um, in the jungle in the in the forest uh, they will create because nothing grows right in a, in a creek inside I'm talking about on the bed of the creek when the water flows um, because nothing tall grows like a tree or any other plants uh, on top of the creek you have this clear airway and that's what the bats and birds use as their as a sort of um, flyway you know like like the planes that we have today we have um, control tower stuff like that like guide the planes through so they don't bump each other they they also use that sort of airway on top of the creek but nothing grows there's no trees you're much uh, clearer to fly on that side because nothing is going to stop you or you're not going to hit a tree right that takes me to this point that if you want to grow tall uh, it's difficult obviously um, almost impossible if your roots can't grab the foundation the ground that you're standing on now to me this is how I interpret it and it's wild and crazy and it's just me and I feel like that in order for us to grow as human beings in order for us to flourish like a big strong tree with lots of branches that can reach up high and create a shade and and do a lot of different things bear fruit maybe have a strong trunk look at these trees look at these trees right this tree won't, won't be possible if if it, uh, the roots were in a marshland the roots weren't in a solid ground and the, uh, the way I interpret that for us human beings is that you need to know where you come from you need to know where your roots are uh, because if you don't you have nothing to hang on to you know you need to know and for everybody is different and the roots could mean um, things you know from your family your family tree your tribe your country your religion your i don't know because those are strong roots are the essence for us to grow like this big tree over here look at this if you want to be strong and tall and stand for a long time like this you need to have your roots deeply deeply in the ground like underneath everybody knows what's underneath here and it could go all the way around there you need to spread your roots spread your roots hang on to your roots understand your roots and grow tall just to clarify that point a bit more uh, look at this I found this these are the roots of this big massive enormous I don't know how old I don't know how old, maybe 200 years. I don't know how big, how long this tree has been here. Look at these roots, and it's all it's all rotten. You know, it's termite damaged and everything. You know, um, so clearly you can see that this root, for example, here had a strong arm, would have been a lot longer. You know, maybe it spread out to that side. I'm not sure, but this is this is the point. Look. Maybe this, you, for you to find out what this is, this could be your family, your father and mother, where you came from. This one here could be, could be the country you were born in. This one here is probably your brother and sister, the people that formed you and shaped you around. These are your uncles, aunties. These are your teachers. This is your religion. So this is what, this is what, this is what you need to know. The roots, find the roots and be content with them because there's nothing you can change about the past and see what what benefit you're going to get from them and then grow tall